You know, it's that square tip prop. It's the master air screw. Make it echoed a bit. Yeah, they make a nice sound. Good morning and welcome to here I am. what is shaping out to be a glorious morning here in uh finally got very good, we've had some horrible storms. I've been working in the workshop, and not really posting much, but in the evenings working on this, and I come to that uh, now, because this is a, um, I guess a, a restoration video, but without the restoration, it's simply because I filmed all the restoration, but then I lost all the footage. So what I'm gonna do now is just quickly talk to you guys and girls through the changes that I've made to this vintage AR. ARF, if there is such a thing, yeah, I guess there is such a thing. This is a vintage, old school uh, ARF. This is a Hangar 9 P47. Um, right now, very crazy times here in Europe and for the world. And because it's my own personal channel, I'm going to say it. My heart and thoughts goes out to everybody out there in Ukraine. It's terrible what's happening there, and I hope it's resolved soon for the better. Anyway, so as a little bit of a light relief then today, we have the Hangar 9 P47 now. Playing up there, KLM, see that? <laughs> Obviously I'm at the club. Now this uh, was something that I brought electric over a year ago now. It had a hatch here, a really rough hatch actually. Had electric motor uh, and it was flying great on, um, it was flying on success. Uh, and then on the second flight the uh, motor seized completely so I wasn't very happy with that at all, especially as I just brought it. And then I realized, well, you know what? I've got this laser 100. If you remember, I got a uh, laser 100 with those other two V-twin lasers that I got last uh, year or so. And I needed a home for it. So I've added a laser 100. And let's see if we can get some shots of it there. You can just about see the, uh, the, cil the cylinder head. You can just about see the uh, cylinder head uh, there. And now the problem with the laser, it has its carb really low down. So I've had to drop the fuel tank. Now if I turn this over, can you see there? Sorry, I'm facing the wrong direction. There's the fuel tank. Now it's much lower than it would have been normally when it was a uh, nitro powered ARF. It would have been up there. So I've had to lower it to its in line. If you can see the tank there, the tank is there. It's now in line with the carb. Because I originally had it way up here where it was meant to be originally and that wasn't really uh, working out at all because the engine wasn't running properly so i've had to open out the front here of the wing and i put padding there i've glassed this i've fuel proofed that so the tank now sits into there as well as being in the fuselage let's see if we can get a better shot of that uh, there we go you can see a nicer shot of the tank in there if i take that away you can see it a bit better there we go there's the tank um all the electronics in this throttle servo uh it was quite a messy uh, arf it um had a lot of uh, issues and damage i've painted all the gear door so it all matches sprayed the bottom and it's still a little rough around the edges but the point is i just wanted a nitro warbird well i wanted a home for my laser 100 more than anything so this is it's maiden on nitro it's only ever flown electric um, the engine seems to be running really quite well. We'll do a final bit of tuning here and then we'll give you a flight review. Other than that, um, you'll notice that it's got flaps. The guy I brought it off did add flaps, which is cool because a warbird without flaps isn't really a warbird in my mind. And this whole area here, this was an open hatch and he'd done a really shit job of it. He'd done a really, really hack job of that battery hatch. So I filled that all in with wood. Uh, reskinned it and then recovered all of that too so that's all looking nice and original as it should so let's get this together and we'll give you a flight review of this restored hangar 9 p47 thunderbolt so here we are fully assembled there she is what a beauty obviously very sports scale but these hangar 9 old hangar 9 60 um, p47s always flew exceptionally well um, the joke is when they first came out I really wanted one as electric and I got one as electric and it was just a bit dull so now it's got some fire in its belly with that laser laser 100 sitting nicely there I'm hoping that that's enough cooling of course there's air coming out behind the cowl as well so um, she's up on her feet gonna fuel her up got a few other things to do because I'm also shooting some stuff for work today 
even though it is the weekend that is my commitment um, and uh, we'll take the P47 up very very soon so uh, I just started it of course it's laser it pretty much started straight away it needs to be well primed um, I haven't got a choke on this so what I do the um, the uh, other pipe that I've come, got coming off the tank the uh, air pipe I blow into that just to get fuel pushed into the car then it starts up and it's running well so oh one thing I've got to do is just hold it up in the air see if it's uh, not too lean not too rich and then we're going to take off so just give me a second I'm ready. All right, take it off. Sure of the thrust angles on this. So uh it needs down thrust and it needs side thrust. So for now I'll just trim that. Having a hard time finding it. Yeah? Yeah it's just done. So low. Uh, yeah. I'm just looking at my own reflection. <laughs> Give me a second. Back had a little trouble uh, with the camera. I uh, I wasn't sure if it had the correct amount of down or side thrust because I just bolted the engine straight onto the firewall. I've got a lot of down trim and quite a lot of aileron trim. So I could keep it like that, but I'll probably just shim the, uh, the engine mount a bit to give it that side and down that it needs. So when I apply power, Is running good, model's flying good. How's it looking on camera now? Better. Yeah, better. Do a low pass left or right. Listen to the sound, look for the smoke. Nice. You can't see the smoke this way, so I'll bring it around. A little bit gusty today. Now here we come. You'll see the smoke as I turn in. Sorry for the sun. There's the smoke, you see it? You know, it's that square tip prop, it's the master air screw. Think it echoed a bit? Yeah, they make a nice sound. One minute. All right, let's just do the sensible thing and try the stall back here. I don't need to because I know, know how it flies. It's a trainer warmer. Still good? I've been having nothing for quite a while, honestly. It's, it's, it's camouflaged. You can tell it's camouflaged for the sky. Oh, so you're not seeing it right? No. You must see that bit, surely. Oh, definitely, yeah. All right, so viewers, we may end up cutting this video a bit just to get the good parts. Let's do a slow ah, pass. Ah, there it is. No, do I a got slow it. pass. Laser's running really, really nicely. I think I'll try and avoid the sunny part of the sky, right? Yeah, if you don't go too far to the back, then uh, okay. we'll be fine. This, this is way nice. Right. I can probably get a bit more if I put like an APC on it or something like that, but um, I think it's got power enough. Do a loop here, ready? Flying like a warbler, but I am having 
I got it. I'll put on the smoke. Landing! Need a slight crosswind landing. We get the flaps on. I'm going to try not to nose over so I'll flick it into the high rates on the elevator as soon as I get low to the ground. Oh, there we go. Bit of a wheeled landing, but we're down. Taxiing off! There's that. You see the flaps there. Not much flap reflection, but enough. There you have it. That's my restored hanging iron P47. Lays 100. I've got. Uh, Quite a bit of down, quite a bit of right, but if you look on the model itself, maybe I'll just keep it as it is. Maybe my uh, setup is just not great. Just gonna do one more take off the camera then, and then we'll uh, close off the video. All right. That's it, take off. Walk a bit that way. Take it off. Cut it. How was that? Was I standing in the way? No, it's good. Low pass, right to left. Grass is a bit bouncy, it's only early, very early March, like March tomorrow. Let's just check one thing. It was quite smoky. Let's see how dirty she is underneath. Is she a dirty girl? Let's have a look. Well, actually, there's a lot of fuel. Mostly. It looks sticky. Yeah, it does look sticky. Probably a bit rich. Anyway, pretty much happy with that. I will uh, fill up and fly some more. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you for another video at some point soon. Here on my personal channel at Stuart Warner C. Thank you, Andres.